Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to discuss lecture number 1 of chapter 5 Physical States of Matter. And the topic is Types of Solid State. So first of all we will recap the previous topic. In the last lecture we have discussed about the melting point of solids, freezing point of solids and sublimation process in solids. Here some introduction of solid is given. A solid consists of array of particles which may be atoms, ions or molecules. And these particles are held together by strong attractive forces. The melting point of the solids depends upon the forces of attraction in the particles of the solid. If there are strong forces then uh, it, they have high melting point and if the forces are weak then melting point will be lower. Types of solids. There are two types of solids. The first one is crystalline solids. Crystalline solids are the solids in which atoms, molecules or ions are arranged in a regular repeating three-dimensional well-ordered pattern. For example, table salt that is NaCl exists in three-dimensional cubic structure. Characteristics of crystalline solids. Crystalline solids have specific three-dimensional geometry as the particles are arranged in fixed position and the solids have sharp melting points and they have a perfect ordered arrangement. Examples of solids are sodium chloride, NaCl and silver nitrate AgNO3. The second type of solids is amorphous solid. These are the solids in which atoms, ions or molecules are not arranged in a definite pattern. Rather they are randomly arranged. For example, in cotton candy there is no specific arrangement of particles. Similarly in rubber, plastics and glass there is no specific arrangement of particles. Characteristics of amorphous solids. Amorphous solids have no specific geometry. They appear in the form of lumps or powder. They don't have sharp melting point and they simply soften on heating and begins to flow on further heating. The examples of amorphous solids are plastics, glass, rubber, etc. In homework, you have to differentiate between the crystalline and amorphous solids by writing the appropriate sentences in the empty boxes. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.